Welcome back, friends, to Vampires of the Rim. I'm Junver, and today in RimWorld, we're going to look at getting our base secured, get some walls up, and see what we can do about defenses. We've done a little bit of organization, making some decent progress in that respect, and move a few things over for, for tidiness sake, but they're headed to bed now. This warg is still hanging out. We also have a timber wolf in the area. Dead. Any other animals nearby? Ugh, panther. Why can't they go away? This alpaca is a lot more enticing of a meal than we are. So I really want to build our walls. And as you can see, I've planned out some of it already. Um, however, I don't want to do it while they're here. Oh, you know what we can do? We can deconstruct these for some extra blocks. That'll help. A warg has self-tamed. Oh my god. Well, cool. We don't have anybody who can who can train them. Uh Do we? What is his uh minimum handling level? Minimum handling skill five. Who is best? Okay, Cole can't touch this warg. Eventually he'll go wild again. So actually what we're going to do is I'm going to create animal zone and it's going to be here. And you, my friend, you're going to go hang out over there. Because when we eventually lose control of you, um, I want it to be far away from us. <laughs> If for for any if any if it's ends up being possible that we can use the warg like we get a level five animal skill and we can get him back before he leaves, that's fine. I'm totally okay with that, and we'll bring him back in and make good use of him. But for right now, uh, I just I don't want I don't want our friend warg here. Unfortunately, I wish I did. I wish I could take him, but we don't have the handling skill to keep him. And I don't want him getting loose inside of our base. Alright, so who else do we have to worry about? We have to worry about the timber wolf, which is not as scary as the warg by any means. And I think that's it. So we get ourselves all situated here. We should be looking pretty good, actually. Alex is making us some meals. Oh. Timber wolf ate this rat. Of the two, I would rather have the timber wolf inside the walls. All right, we're getting some more blocks here. And now I think we might be able to make, can we make a limestone door? Not yet. We should be able to make a limestone door when we break the rest of these walls down. Interesting. So Cole here, who is our human, not our vampire, he is unhappy because we don't have a blood feeder master. We should make a blood feeder our leader. Don't you worry, we will make uh, Alex our leader here in due time. However, we're not going to do that quite yet. He, uh, I, don't, I don't want him to have the hit to expectations. Although, because he is iron-willed, he could probably take it. Alex, I actually need you to craft before you haul. It's more important that you craft than anything else. We do need more sandstone blocks. Oh, good. Looks like the timber wolf is leaving our area. Hopefully for good. I've used a wooden door over here instead of a stone door, just because we don't really need a stone one. The um, the stone on the ground here makes a natural fire block, but I'll eventually upgrade it to stone, I hope. This is where we're going to have our main um, defenses right here for for the early game. I'm, we may end up putting it somewhere else, like over here long term, or we may end up using this uh, for a long time. But the main issue with this area is that it doesn't have good, strong soil. So we can't build anything here. Like, here's a... I can't build a wooden wall here on top of this marshy soil, so... Or mud, I suppose, is what it is. So yeah, for now we'll, we'll do this, but long term we're probably going to be doing our kill area, our kill tunnel defenses area somewhere else. I haven't decided where yet. Okay, we're looking good here. We've got our walls done. I just need to put our doors in place, which we will do as soon as we get enough stone blocks for it to let me place it. I really wish it let me select 
all the materials even if I didn't have them because like I know I'm about to have sandstone blocks because I'm literally making sandstone blocks I want it to be on this list but however it's not if I had one already I could copy and paste it but I do not have any sandstone doors on the on the map yet so I can't copy and paste it another day on the rim we're inching our way towards having some defenses up we've got two traps made However, we need to get these exterior walls done to make our area safe so we can properly defend ourselves. One of the advantages to this uh, little area we have here, apart from the massive amount of um, fertile soil, is that it's relatively easy to secure. We don't need a lot of wall pieces to, to secure ourselves. Another advantage is the nearby geothermal geyser. So eventually we'll end up using that. However, I don't think we have another one nearby. We have this one over here, but that's going to be our closest one, which is a little bit disappointing. Geothermal power is the best power in the game, in my opinion. It's it's just infinite free, free power. Um, it hurts a lot when one of your colonists throws a temper tantrum and goes and destroys your geothermal generator, however. <laughs> Since it looks like we'll be here for a while, Cole thinks we should give our faction a name. We are the Vampires of the Rim. We also need to give this settlement a name. We are Rib World. We've got ourselves a Western Wall. So while it may not look like it, this is actually completely um, impenetrable. Well, okay, it's not impenetrable, but you can't walk between blocks like this. Even though it looks like two squares next to each other, there's no way for a character to walk through this path. So this side of our base is secure. This side isn't yet, though, and I haven't built anything over here. Oh, while I'm at it, because I turned off the automatically expand home zone, I need to go ahead and add these pieces to the home zone, so that if they do get dis destroyed or damaged for any reason, um, the characters will go ahead and fix it automatically. Is there anything else I need to add? Yes, I need to add these guys to the zone. Can we make ourselves a sandstone door yet? We sure can. Here we go, two sandstone doors coming right up. Changed my mind a little bit on how I want to do this particular building. We are going to use... We're going to build some bedrooms up here, like so. I'm going to put doors here instead of in the middle, so both Alex and Cole will be able to have themselves a nice bedroom. I think that's a good idea. Our first harvest of rice has come in. This is exciting. We're going to actually be able to uh, eat perpetually now. This should be enough rice for two people, because despite being a vampire, Alex still needs to eat. He needs to eat both blood and food. Alright, I need to direct Alex a little bit here to work on making some stone blocks. Because we need to get these two doors up. Right now the barracks here is just outside because I took these two doors down. So they're going to have to get those two doors up before they go to bed. Alex got food poisoning from simple meal, but your cooking level is four. You have some familiarity with cooking. <laughs> Um, he's not a very good cook, so that's why he ended up getting food poisoning from his meal. Um, however, it's important to note, I can't show you right now because this is outside. No, I need you to finish this. Once, no, I need you, no, don't cook while the door is not built. I really need you to finish the door before you cook anything. Really? Finish the door, please. Thank you. Alright, so we have a... Minus 0 0.58 cleanliness rating, which is fine. Uh, as long as it's below negative 1 or closer closer to 0 than negative 1, um, we're fine. We're not going to get food poisoning from dirty cooking area. But if I'd let him cook while this door was gone, um, this wouldn't be a room. And so the cleanliness area of the outdoors is pretty dirty. And it would have been had a high likelihood of causing food poisoning. Cole is not a very good miner, is he? What's your mining skill at? One. Well, it's better than zero. And we really don't need to do too much mining here. It's really just this last little, little section here and we'll be able to have our defenses all set up. That'll be good. Hopefully we get a trader soon because I really need a ranged weapon for coal. All right, here's something I should have done earlier. 
is put down a couple of research benches. So when they're idle, they have something to do. I didn't, I forgot about that. Normally I have those down pretty quick, but oopsies. Alex, I know, I know you have food poisoning. It's gonna be okay, dude. You're, you're uh, iron willed, so you should be fine. Problem is that these two are probably food poisoned also. Oh well. So one thing that makes me a little bit nervous is this ancient danger here. It's technically inside of our walls, if you think about it. So eventually we're gonna have to deal with that. I don't really want to deal with that anytime soon. I am I will when I can. I do like the ancient danger, but it'll be a little while before we get to that point. Also, we're gonna want this steel. How much steel do we have? 70? It's not a lot of steel. Look, I found some steel. I guess we'll just steal that. You can take a break from that. He'll just keep doing it until he eventually gets tired because uh, we have a drop on floor for our sandstone block order. So he'll just keep making it until somebody hauls it. Oh. This fox just viciously attacked this rat. A bite wound caused the rat to expire. The red fox nipped the rat in the front left leg, making her stumble in agony. Oh my goodness. It's a tough world out here on the rim. Well, that was their last night in the outdoors. Alex is going to get a place a place to sleep inside or in his own private room now. That'll be very nice, although he has a normal bed. So let's cancel this. Let's build you a new bed see if we can get him a good bed or ideally an excellent bed another normal bed let's try that again oops don't don't do that deconstruct I know I'm in death rest right now another normal bed let's try it again all right finally we got a good bed excellent what does Alex's room look like? Alex's room is mediocre. That's eh, okay. Make him a little bit happier than sharing a room. We're gonna go ahead and keep this normal bed for now. So we'll put it right here. Space chunks. Oh my gosh, four. Four space chunks. That's excellent. Love me some space chunks. We will uh, we'll save those for later. In the new arrivals start, or the, um, the the normal standard RimWorld start with the three characters and everything, you start the game with a number of um, ship chunks already landed on the map to give you some extra components and steel. However, the Sanguifage start doesn't have that. In fact, it doesn't even start with the 30 components that the that other one does. It only starts with 10. So components are going to be pretty important for us. Ah, it helps if you give them a research project. There is... Oh, they moved everything. <laughs> they moved the buttons in the most recent patch for the game. Uh, coincidentally, it came out not too long ago. And the patch also um, is what enabled our ideology. They added the blood feeding uh, meme, which means that we can really have a, an ideology that really fits with our biotech-themed run here. So I was very happy when I heard about the... Um, the changes that they were making in that patch. So, very happy with that. So is Randy gonna attack us or what? It's been a while, we got everything started. We almost have our defenses up. Is Randy gonna attack us or not? That's the question. Let's check in how people are feeling. Alex here, how are you doing? You have extremely low expectations because our colony wealth is pretty low. Where are we at? 12,900 is our colony wealth, which is good. We want that low. Um, you have initial hope still, so this is initial mood buff that they get from starting out. He is a he is a blood feeder, so he gets points for being revered. And we have uniform thoughts, so he likes that too. Um, we have a slightly imp impressive recreation and dining room. That helps a lot with his mood, but he has sunlight sensitivity because of his species, because he's a, a vampire. So he's got a minus six for that. All in all, he's doing okay. How is Cole doing? Cole... You have also extremely low expectations, initial hope. You like how big this room is, that's nice. Bloody style surroundings, that's from the uh, 
from the torch here, I think, and also the table, all that contributes to that. Uh, slightly impressive dining room, uniform thoughts, and he still wants a leader who's a blood feeder. We'll get there, Cole. Don't worry. We'll get there. So they finished constructing most of what I've asked for them. So what we need next is sandstone fences. You might be asking yourself, why sandstone fences? It's because there is a pretty convenient way to set this up. Actually, I'm not sure how to do it around a corner. It's a pretty convenient and easy setup for a little easy early game trap tunnel that we are going to be setting up right here. I have that there. I'm going to have, oops, oops, the same one. But this one here. So what this will do is when the enemies are coming down this tunnel, um, they will walk over the traps instead of over the fences because walking over the fences slows them down and walking over the traps doesn't. But they don't realize that the traps, they don't usually realize that the traps are going to hurt them. So that ends up being pretty good for us. And our characters won't walk over the traps. They will walk from this square to this square to this square. And I'll show you once they actually get this built. Um, but it's a very good, safe way to use traps. Because if you either, the other way to do it that's, that's going to make it so they don't walk over the traps is to have doors. But doors, there's a lot of wealth. So a door here contributes, it's not going to tell me, is it? doesn't tell me how much wealth the door is, but basically a door is a lot of wealth and a wall is not a lot of wealth. So having a lot of doors to allow your your colonists access to the traps to repair them, rebuild them and stuff, um, costs some more overall. All right, we really need something interesting to happen here. We've got ourselves a pretty substantial trap tunnel now. We've got eight traps. So that should keep us safe from whatever our first raid ends up being if it would just show up. Now we are extra ready. We are extra ready for attackers, uh, manhunters, anything. We're ready. We've got 11 spike traps. We've got a door on the, we got a front door. We got a back door, multiple back doors. We are ready. We are absolutely ready. Oh, that means I can set the walls zone more accurately now. So all this is inside. Perfect. We are ready. We are absolutely ready. Well, I guess we're just going to hunker down and work on research then. Although, actually, we should get ourselves ready with... Uh, we should get a prison ready. That's a good idea. We'll make a prison here. Do all, all like this. This area over here will be our prison. We'll see how much of this we can mine out. But, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll do that. Uh, it's Cole's turn for food poisoning now. How do you feel about that? Not good. A drifter requests alms. Hmm. Are you of a faction that we care about? Are you any good? You're a crafter. Hmm. We could capture them for the crafting. They're not, they don't have good traits, so I don't really care that much. However... They do have one thing that we desperately need. They have blood. A caravan? Oh, it's a, it's a tribal's caravan. How nice. What do they have? Some cloth? Some silver? Some thrombo fur. Nice. Where did they get that? And some dye? Oh, we should grow some dye. We can paint things. And basically nothing we need. <laughs> so, Kalothi's... Uh, I understand that you desperately need five herbal medicine. However, I have a problem. Let me just... Let's, let's, let's look, take a look here at Kalothi's. You got blood. And we need we need blood. How much blood do we have? We only have 36 blood. So, unfortunately, you're going to get stuck in here. Alex, do you mind doing this real quick? Okay, good. So right now this is all a prison, but eventually it'll be less. It won't be the whole room as the prison. Um, Alex, uh, you're pretty pretty strong, and you have pretty weak melee skills. Let's arrest you. <laughs> I feel bad about this. I hate arresting the beggars, but Alex has got to eat. He needs his hemogen, so... 
Yeah, we betrayed we betrayed the travelers. Is that gonna make you unhappy? Ah, uh, we don't care about them. We care about blood. Okay, so we're gonna set them up as a hemogen farm, or no? Do we want we want Cole to gain experience with medical, right? Yeah. So we're gonna set her up as a hemogen farm. What that means is that the doctor will come and extract hemogen and put it in a pile over here so that Alex can drink the blood. We're not going to have Alex directly feed off of Kolothes, at least not right now. But this is great. This is our first prisoner. Alex is very happy. Hopefully we can get some more vampires, but especially more blood going forward. You know what I'm also going to do? We're going to build a shelf. The, where is it? It's under furniture, isn't it? In, or structure. Furniture. Should be here. Where is it? Do we have to research something? Oh, there it is. Okay. So, prior to the biotech DLC and 1.4, shelves were still a thing, and they were still pretty useful. But now, shelves can hold three stacks of items, so they're, they're a little bit more worthwhile than they used to be. Oh, we do have a third person to feed. I think this is still enough food. We have an excess of rice here, um, but not a huge excess. So we'll just we'll have to see how long this ends up lasting us. Cougar revenge. Uh-oh. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> they, the cougar revenged over here by the uh, tribe. Oh, it went to eat their chicken. Unlucky. Oh, it reminds me, I need... Who's our social person? It is Alex, okay. Uh, we have to go trade with these guys before they leave because I want a ranged weapon. Do they have any? So they don't have any ranged weapons, which is a disappointment, but they do have a horse. I'm gonna buy their horse. And we're gonna put the horse, let's see. Let's put the horse, I'll put him over here, kind of by the farm. Who's, uh, you're assigned to this, I think. Can you, can you come rope our horse? Where is he? All right, he's doing it now. Um, you don't actually need a pen for uh, pen animals. Uh, however, you do need a, if you don't have a pen, you need a caravan hitching spot. And depending on how many animals you have here, they'll eventually eat up all the, all the stuff in the area. But this horse will be just fine here. You should give him a name. Every horse deserves a good name. What do we think here? Chestnut the horse. So I believe being a hemogen farm means that they need to be set to herbal medicine, and every time we do it, it's going to consume some of the herbal medicine. So I need to see if there's any more in the area we can steal. Can we buy some from them? Did they have herbal meds? Uh, that's not what I wanted. They have four. They have four herbal meds, that's not worth it. Is our work zone? No, okay. We're gonna go eat this cougar and we're gonna eat their hen too. While these guys are sleeping, we're gonna take care of a few odd jobs. Gonna deconstruct some of this junk laying around. Oh, is this marble tile? We could, we could steal their marble tile, whoever left that here. Also steal this flagstone, although I'm pretty sure the flagstone, even if you rip it up, it doesn't give you anything, but that's okay. Maybe we'll push ourselves down into here, break our way through, extend our, our safe space a little bit, because no raids can come from over here, so we're safe to open it up in that direction. Timber Wolf Revenge. Oh, the warg's got this. It's a warg that, we, that was tamed for us. A warg is hunting warg one for food. Oh no, who wins? Our warg or, or the, the wild warg? I guess we'll have to find out here. This, uh, we don't have Cole's, um, animal skill isn't high enough to tame the warg, so we just sent him out to live in the wild until he eventually died, which it looks like will probably be soon. He's, uh, he's, yep, our warg is gonna be dead. That's unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. Farewell, Warg One. We didn't give you a name because I was certain that you were gonna die. Do we want to walk all the way out here and get this meat? How much meat do we have? Eh. It's not really worth it. We have plenty of food. Well, things are going really well. We've got Chestnut here. 
our do or dog, <laughs> our horse. Let's see, what is his minimum handling skill too? Okay, good. So we can actually keep him tame. Um, we've got ourselves an enclosed base. We've got ourselves pretty decent defenses. Um, we really just need some ranged weapons. And we need to hunker down and get research done. It would be fun, though, if Randy would actually send us some raids. Now, I don't mean a lot of raids. I just like one, one small raid, if you would be so kind, Randy. Just to make things a little bit more interesting, please. It's time to extend our main room here. Ooh, a raid. A group of Itakin from Orwittil have arrived nearby. Alright, it is one Itakin. He is not nimble, so the tramps should take care of him, but we're going to put everybody on the wall zone for now. I don't want anybody wandering out while he's headed in our direction. Let's take a look at this guy. He is... 23, he's from the Itakin, which is a, a pirate, hostile pilot, pirate faction. He is psychically dull. He's very good with animals. He has the ability to do an animal war call. That's pretty exciting. Incapable of a lot of stuff, but oh well, we gotcha. Ooh, we can, uh, we can, we can capture him if I'm quick enough. I could just pause it here, but oh well. I'm starting to get used to playing without pause anyway. But there we go, our first raid. That was a little bit easy because we were very well prepared, I would say. This club is, it is outdoors? Okay, good. It'll deteriorate on its own. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't do that. I don't want him to use herbal meds. There you go. Is he gonna die or is he gonna live? Three hours? Let's see if you can save him, Cole. Why are you breaking all of our traps? This Ibex, Ibex is breaking our traps. All right, so I need to go into a specific menu here, which is the defaults button for medical settings. Everybody is going to go on doctor care except with uh, with no medicine, but we're going to manually leave Colothes on uh, herbal meds, and we're going to make sure everybody else is on herbal meds. Don't need them to use any of our very expensive medicine quite yet. Why are all of these guys breaking our traps? That's quite rude. We're gonna have to replace them. It's a lot of wood. At least we can eat them. Windshawl is going to live, which means we have to decide what we want to do with him. He's not a um, he's not a unbreakable prisoner, so we could recruit him if we want him. He's decent at shooting. He doesn't have any major health issues, but let's see, his traits, he's ascetic, he's teetotaler, and psychically dull. All of these are okay, but he can't do dumb labor, so really he would just shoot a gun, and we don't have any guns right now, so he would do nothing. Yeah, I think we... let's make him a Hemogen farm also. We'll set him to uh, herbal meds too. We'll see just how much Hemogen we end up needing. If having the two is way too much, then we won't worry too much about it, but I'm not actually sure how much Hemogen we'll end up needing. But we've got two, we've got two prisoners that we can get it from. Well, it turns out if we ask Randy for a raid, he'll send a raid. I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful in the future. <laughs> I don't want him sending 10 raids, you know can send multiple raids at the same time. He doesn't have the sort of cooldowns that uh, Cassandra and Phoebe have, so he can definitely be, he can definitely hit you harder than them, but he can also go to sleep, so hopefully he doesn't go to sleep. I'd like a good steady but random assortment of raids and challenges to deal with. Thanks friends for joining me today. I'm Juniver. I hope you enjoyed today, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye now.